my goodness me, that's powerful stuff. So powerful, in fact, that I'm just about to do it with as many people as I can. Anyway, it is now officially nine o'clock. We've just, for those people who have just come in or came in a little way through that little presentation, don't worry, it's on the replay. We, we haven't officially started the training yet. We were just talking amongst ourselves. Um, and I was sharing an idea that I've had because of a piece of software. So if you caught it all, all good and well. If you didn't, no worries. It's on the replay. You can watch it again tomorrow. And if there was ever a way to make money quickly from your content site, then believe me, I truly, truly recommend that that is the way to go. And we will talk about a content site. So we are going to officially start the webinar, the Open Mic Session 2. We still don't have a full house. People are still coming in. Um, it is one minute past the hour of 9 p.m. in the evening in the United Kingdom. Uh, welcome aboard, wherever you are in the world. I hope the weather's good where you are. Where I am, it is absolutely horrible. Horrible, as we would say in the UK. We're having blizzards and we're having weather warnings, the likes of which we've never had before. So hopefully, the internet will keep going for me and things will go right and we will get to the end of the webinar. The way the webinar is going to be run is simply this. I'm going to make a presentation. Today's presentation will be very, very powerful for you, and it'll be quick. And then if there's anybody has a question about absolutely anything they can imagine, then they can ask that question. If anybody wants to raise a hand and ask me something or tell me something about anything they want, that's fine, or about anything that we cover today, that is fine. It's an open mic session, and we can talk about anything besides politics and religion. Okay, Everything else is cool, but business is the order of the day, and that's where we're going to start. So this is the open mic session two. Um, I hope you've seen the first session of the open mic. It really, really was powerful. It was never my intention to have these. Um, I just wanted one to show people that I had such a great year last year that I think everyone should follow that. And the open mic session was about that business model. So if you haven't seen that, please go and take a look. I'm going to cover it gently as we start here, and then we're going to get into the nuts and bolts. So today we're going to talk about an idea I have for you, okay? An idea for you, something that you can do right now to get your business up and running very, very quickly with probably very little effort because you probably already own the content site. And then we're going to talk about making money in 2012, okay? Because that's what I hope is going to inspire you. That is the year that I changed my life pretty much, okay? So... I've got a small presentation, I promise you it will really be small, and I'm not selling anything. That's the first thing to remember here. John Adams is not selling you anything, but I created a product that's gone live, that's done very well for me, and in that product, I pretty much did a quick video, just a quick video. I want to do something out the ordinary for these people, and I put a presentation together, and I'm just going to quickly show you that presentation. What I want you to understand is this. I promise you right now that if you can get more productive, that if you can actually say to yourself, Do you know what, this is the one, this time, this time is the time when I'm actually going to take action. I'm not going to sit behind my laptop and look at my emails and chase one email from another email. I'm not going to keep going from the next big guru to the next big guru until the magic pill hits me on the head. I'm actually going to do something. It's not going to be hard, but I'm going to do it, and I'm going to make myself some money. Okay? Because the minute that I said that to myself, that's when my life changed. I promise you, that's when it all changed. I don't care if you've done it before and it's gone wrong. Trust yourself that you can change your life around in less than a few months. That's important. So, a true story. On February the 24th, 2012, I launched my first product. That product was called TubeRaider. It is highly likely that you're on this call today because you bought TubeRaider. Because you bought my first ever product. Because that product inspired you or you enjoyed the training, or you enjoyed the connections with me ever since. But for whatever reason, here you are now, on this webinar, 12 months later. 12 months later, okay? We're almost into February. So we won't dilly-dally about the few days, okay? So in a year, I have managed to change my whole life around from someone who has no more extra chances than you. I have no more extra potential than you.
That product took $43,403.81 in just 10 days. And I've shown you the proof of this hundreds of times. The proof is all over my websites, it's all over my products, it's all over the internet. It really did make a massive impact on me. And it really did change my life forever. So my idea is for you is why don't you go and do the bloody same? Why don't you go out there right now and do exactly the same as me? And the reason that I had to take action was because I was completely broke. And here's the difference between success and failure. And try and remember this if you've never heard this before. There are those people that are scared to succeed, and there are those people that are scared to fail. You need to decide which one of those people that you are. You're either scared to succeed, or you're scared to fail. Most people are too scared to succeed. They're the people that go round and round in circles. Scared to succeed. Ooh, what happens? How do I do this? How am I going to learn this? What happens when? because they're thinking too far ahead and they never get to where they want to be. Those people that are scared to fail because they're broke, because they have no money, they're the ones that usually take action quickest. Hopefully they take action in the right way like I did and they get taught properly. That's what changed it for me. I was in a situation where I said, I better change my life right now, otherwise I'm going to be living in my care next month with my daughter and my baby. And lo and behold, I kicked myself up the backside. I created something that I never believed I could ever create, even though I was doing it every day of my life. I took it into the marketplace, which I didn't think I was ever going to be able to do. I wrote the sales copy, which absolutely, there was no way I could do that. And I did the whole thing on my own, basically, everything on my own. And I always believed that I couldn't do that. I didn't believe I could get that success. It was the fact of, if I don't do this, I'm going to fail my family right now. And that's what brought me to thinking, I've got to do the sales copy because I can't afford anyone else to do that. I've got to create the product because I can't afford anyone else to do that. I have to put the sales funnel together. I have to do the website. I have to get the graphics done. I have to do it all because I'm going to be broke if I don't. And I think people who follow that route, are always going to be the people that succeed. They're always going to find their way through. It is the one or two percent of people that finally make it. And you need to do the same. Okay? And I did exactly what you're doing right now. I promise you, whether you've been online one year or six years, you've been following the same steps that I did. You followed everything you was told. You bought every kind of product you can imagine. Every single one of them. You build every type of website. You've got your content out. It's been a review site. It's been an affiliate site. It's been a product promotion site. It's been a pure content site. It's been an AdSense site. It's been everything that you can imagine. Imagine yourself now with me thinking the whole truth. You've built your website. What the hell have you done with it in all this time? You've spent time and money on that website. That's exactly what you've done. And when I created this sales copy that you're seeing now, and this is how I presented it, I kind of took myself back to that place. I took myself back to January of 2012 and said to myself, right, share what you can do with the world right now. Share all those hundreds of hours and those thousands of dollars that you've spent keeping the search engines happy, making your website look the way it's supposed to look, doing all the things that these PDFs have told you. They're not bringing you any money, but they are showing you how you do things. They did turn me into someone that understands the way a website should be created. Then I went into the world and I created that website. I got much more information as I could. I got it. I spent more money, more hours. And then I learned about video. And then I learned about the search engines. Then I learned about backlinks and all the things that you've learned about. All the things that you've bought. All of them. And I took them together in one place and I created TubeRader. And that made the difference. So forget about failing, forget about success, think about what you've learned. This is an idea for you. Why don't you take what you've learned and create yourself a product? Just create a product. Just go up there and say, I know how to get a website to rank. I know how to get a video to rank. I know how to get that video to rank so much that the search engines are going to love it. I can make that website look so good that the search engines are going to love it. Because that's what people want to learn. And so you can take that product, go into the world, and you can create your own money. 
okay? Because if all you ever do is keep creating that content site, and if all you ever do is keep getting the links in the search engines, and if all you ever do is go looking for backlinks, you're going to fail. You're not going to make any money because it does not make you money. It's all a big fat lie. It's all a big fat lie, every single piece of it. You do not make money with those skills. You make unless you're going to go out there and promote yourself as someone that's going to do SEO skills for someone, which is a service. Okay? But if all you ever do is keep that skill to yourself, all you're going to do is take over the search engines and only get a small amount of traffic. But what you haven't done is you haven't learned to do what makes you money. And that is how you treat people when they get to your website. That is the sales funnel. That is the product that you are promoting. So this is how it went. Okay, here's the truth about building a website. Don't build a website. What you should be building is a website business. Because just building a website is going to give you 10% of the traffic and 10% of the money that a person needs to become successful. Just 10%. It's not big enough to make you rich. It's not big enough to make you a living. It's not big enough to pay your mortgage. It's not big enough for that brand new car that you want. It's just not big enough. There's not enough people. And you don't get inspired. You don't get inspired because you're not getting success. And so you buy more PDFs. You get more magic pills. You get more shiny objects. It's all a load of bull. You came online to make money. You make money by owning products. Products you create yourself products that people create for you because making products is easy and I mean honestly just between us now it's super easy it really is the hardest part is finding the traffic to buy the products you could have the greatest product on the planet but if you don't know where to go to find traffic you're never gonna get that product in front of people you're never gonna make any money whatsoever and I just told you you're not gonna get it from the search engines you're gonna get some of it 10% of what you need to run a business. So that's the tough part. And then putting that sales funnel together is the hardest part of all. It's the simply the hardest part. How on earth do I put myself a sales funnel together that people are going to come into that like what they see so much that they're going to come up the other side having spent their money. And money is tight at the moment. We all know that. Someone needs to go through this funnel and go, hey, hey, I like what I see here. This is top stuff. I like what this guy does. How the hell do you put that together? That's the tough bit. And you only get that success by trying it out. You only get that success from following the path of someone that's already done that. But you just need to make a start. And I know how scary it is, okay? And I won't read that next bit to you. Um, you should go and look at the video, maybe. It's a great video. And nobody shares this stuff for you. Nobody tells it like it really is. At least not unless you're going to spend ten thousand dollars because it's that ten thousand dollar number that gets you indoors with somebody that knows the truth about this the someone that's willing to share that okay nobody shares this stuff with you no one tells you like it really is so let's share what it really means let's actually show you how you do it let's not think about ten thousand dollars let's get a couple of new slides up here so that 